Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Saturday morning, about 9.30 a.m., and I'm getting ready to do my next project on our, our new boat. Um, back in January, we picked up this Yamaha SX210 boat, brand new in 2021. But what I know about that boat, because I've read lots of reviews about it, everybody has great things to say about these boats, except the stereo. Um, it comes with uh, an Infinity Bluetooth head unit um, that pushes, I, I've looked into the specs and I haven't seen much about this, so this is to help you guys out that are thinking about upgrading your stereo. If you want to know what the SX and the AR210 have, um, the Infinity stereo is pushing 20 watts RMS per channel, and you have four channels. Uh, the speakers that are in there, I think it says uh, Marine Electronics on the front of the speaker, but it's it's actually a Jensen brand speaker, so it's the the same specs as your lower level uh, Jensen's, and they're put they can take a total twenty five watts RMS. Everything I've heard about these stereos is once you get the boat up to speed, you can't hear them anymore. So me, I'm a big fan of like uh, brand continuity. I'm, I'm kind of I don't know. I like I like all my stuff in a car to be the same. If I have Pioneer in a, in a car stereo, I want everything Pioneer. Um, I've had good luck with Infinity in cars before. It's an Infinity head unit on that stereo. So here's what we got going on. We got. I went with the Infinity M704A, 400 watts RMS, thousand watts max, which you know it never hits a thousand watts, but. Um, what is rated at is 75 watts per channel times four. Um, I watched uh, many videos about these, and they do um, they amp they dyno at 80 watts certified, uh, so getting a little bit more than what you pay for there. And then they uncertified, they hit about 83, 84 watts before clipping. So uh, not not terribly expensive amp. I found it for about 150 dollars on eBay, so uh, good deal there. And it is marinized, so we're ready to go. And then the other purchase that we got is I got the wires are part of the uh, this is Rockville's marine installation kit so it comes with a negative wire comes with a positive cable it's all four gauge wiring um, 18 feet of each in the four gauge wiring um, probably won't be using that because that's ridiculously long and I plan to install the amplifier next to where the stereo is comes with speaker cable and a ridiculously long turn on cord um, so more, more than what you'll need the th cool thing with the yamahas is there's room up in the where the uh, stereo is to just go ahead and install um, an amplifier so you don't have to run everything a mile and then i decided to, again go keep with infinity and i'm doing an infinity marine six and a half inch speaker uh rated at 75 watts per channel so a lot of you guys are running like wet sounds and jl and uh and I get that. Uh, I've seen great reviews, but I want a good sound of stereo, and I'm also cheap. So this is a way to do this kind of on a budget and get a good sound. The, um, everything reviews very well. Uh, I've read copious amounts of reviews. Now, of course, you know, JL, it's not going to perform like JL. I don't have that expectation. I want to be able to hear it at speed. And, at, you know, at some point, I will add, uh, probably add... Uh, another small amp and a subwoofer, um, but that's later on down the line. Right now, when we take the boat out for the first time, I just want to be able to hear the stereo, and I want to have it sound good and be able to, you know, hear it while we're underway. So that's the project, hopefully for today. It's going to be in the 50s today outside, so I won't be out there sweating like crazy installing it. So yeah, forgive the hair. I kind of rolled out of bed and, and decided to do this. I figured there's no point in getting up and showering, and making myself all pretty to go climb around on the inside of my boat. So. Good to the sun. All right, so welcome aboard our 2021 Yamaha SX210. Uh, this is what she looks like after she's uncovered. Of course, I just got the cover pushed over there to the side, so I have access to everything. Um, I've already got a little bit of stuff pre-done here. You can see I removed the speaker covers um, in the rear. I just want to show you. Um, so the speakers. When we take a look at the speaker covers, we can see here that this is, and I think I said my in the first part of the video, Marine Electronics. It says Marine Audio. Whatever. It's generic. So um, I was looking at some of these speakers as they're installed, and I'll show you this last one. So 
to get this off, what you wanna do is gently pry from the edge back here, and I've already got this one loosened up because definitely don't wanna jack up my gel coat, but, um, and then this, this speaker cover just pops right off. Now, when I pop this off, I noticed this on a couple of different speakers, you can see where the screws go in and they're actually pushing against the surround on the speaker. So I'm sure that that's not real good uh, for the factory setup. So um, anyway, yeah, we're, we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna get these off, but you know, I'm not gonna remove all these screws like a sucker because I got power tools. All right, short trip to the garage. That's my toe written. Other unnecessary fun toy. Other unnecessary fun toy. Ooh, uh, all right, let's see here we need. Yeah, there we go. I even got the bit on it that I need, so. This is what we're doing today. 2021 Yamaha SX210. Haven't even had it on the water yet. You know, priorities, right? Stereo first, then put it on the water. Um, a soak and farewell is the name, but we'll have to get it on the water to officially christen it, you know, do it all uh, legal and whatnot. Get out there with the, the champagne and the, and the toast and the dedication, so. That's coming, but first. Okay, Yamaha, this is just strange. On the right, we have a speaker from the front. On the left, we have a speaker from the rear. I don't know if you can see that, but the screw is just slightly shorter on the rear speaker, and they really didn't, you know, grab much purchase in the gel coat there. The, the, all, the two speakers in the back were actually a little bit loose, so, yeah, just the, that little bit of difference in the depth of the speaker, and you can see the depth of the rim, so that screw was just barely hanging on. So what's the deal on that? Why is the front screw a good size and the rear screw is a little bit shorter and barely hanging on? Is this like a, is this one of the supply chain issues in 2021? I know, I mean, seriously, like I know we're having a hard time getting a hold of stuff. Is that longer screw difficult to get? Anyway, I don't know, weird. And just like that, we have all four Marine Audio speakers removed. Here's what we got here. We got three in there. So you can see that this is ASA Electronics. If you do a, just a subtle little Google search, you'll see that ASA also manufactures Jensen. We got 25 watts RMS, 50 watts max at four ohms. My, I've got a Bluetooth speaker that puts out 25 watts. That ain't gonna cut it. Okay, so on to the next step. Um, I plan to add a second battery. So I'm gonna have a starting battery and then a house battery. So. I have the switch I need to get in installed, so I'll have my dual battery set up. But this is basically what we're going to look like as far as a mock-up. I've got my power and my ground. I'm going to run those through. We can see the hole in here, so I'm going to run through the engine compartment. And basically, this is going to be the path of travel. It'll go across. I'm going to tuck it up under in some of these areas. Um, and you can see, you know, wiring looms in there that I will attach it to. Run it under the controls and to the side of the helm and then as you can see i will have plenty of extra for hookups inside and so what i'm going to do is i haven't decided yet i need to check out a couple mock-ups i'm either going to mount the, uh, the amp on this wall or take this table out and there's a little shelf under here if the amp will fit right there and i can mount it down and then it'll be right next to that's my stereo right there mount right there um i know that 
audio files will say, you know, we'll look at this and, and want to replace the speaker wires. I, they're there. I'm, I, you know, I'm 75 watts. Um, they're a speaker wire that came with a kit. It's just a slightly larger gauge of what's there. I'm going to run it the way it is with the existing wiring, save myself some hassle. If I'm not satisfied with the sound, I'll upgrade the wiring later. But um, a lot of experience with wiring. The gauge here isn't too bad. I already know it's marinized, so, and I've got wiring for four speakers, whereas the wiring that was uh, included in the kit probably wouldn't have reached all the speakers I would have had to supplement anyway. So I'm going to give this a go, see how it sounds. If I'm not satisfied, I'll change that out later. But this is the mock-up. Again, in that Rockville kit, so this is the four gauge wiring. 18 feet and you can see it'll come all the way around and uh and then we'll see this is my lockup this is how i expect it to go we'll see if it actually fits in there once i get it all actually run the way i want it to be so stay tuned all right and so here's a little side by side comparison we have the marine audio and then we have the infinity six and a half and you can see there's a bit more diameter there magnet for one magnet for the other you can see the just a little bit more substantial magnet here on this side versus there the depth of the speaker versus the depth of the speaker so again side by side you can really see that quite a bit so the cone this looks like a um, polypropylene coated cone whereas this cone looks to be pure polypropylene or something along those lines so definitely think this will probably stand up to the elements a little bit better of course it's usually not the cone that i ever have issues with it ends up being the surround that that dry rots or starts to crack over time but we'll see all right just curious all right so just i tested something off camera real quick but i'll show you guys in person so that's the stock hole and this is my new speaker that is six and a half and you can see that it is bigger around when I pop it up in this hole, she fits flush. So, bonus for the Infinity versus what I've seen with some of the other ones, like the, the wet sounds. Yeah. So, like, uh, the wet sounds and uh, SCAR audio and uh, JL, where... And of course, you know, they handle way more power. You know, I'm not trying to be heard all the way across the lake. I'm trying to be heard inside the boat. So, you know, uh, extra cutting on the other speakers, I'll be able to use the factory hole. So, eh, time-saving bonus. Sweet! Oh, but one other thing to mention here. The only hassle you've got, and to me it's kind of minor. One, two, three, four screw holes. One, two, three, four, five screw holes. Oh man, oh, power tools. And just so you can see, let's hope I do a better job than y Yamaha at drilling out the holes. But who's gonna see it? All right, so as the screws go, you can see the Yamaha rear screw on the right. You can see the screw that's included with the uh, Infinities on the left. So obviously a quite a bit more substantial. However, I will warn you that the um, the Infinity screw seems to have the consistency of soft cheese, so exercise caution. And one down. down onto the fronts now what I will say about that five screw hole pattern on these um, on these speakers is it's nice because you can hang that first screw on either side and then basically let the weight of the speaker level itself so that way you get a nice level installation. 
just by using that first screw, screw and you don't get that you know one crooked speaker in there so I do kind of like that I don't know it's, it's a minor little thing but still one of those things that after you install a new speaker it'll bug you if it's not straight speakers installed again because it fits into the actual factory holes that's that's like a bonus for the infinity because I didn't have to do any cutting I've seen a lot of videos now yeah I'd have a bigger louder more impressive sound system but this is going to be bigger and louder and it fits so I don't have to cut into my brand new fiberglass and gel coat so yeah digging that and man how y'all feeling about but i think it looks way sharper and more modern than that one more step down okay so the next part that we have to do now that i've got the speakers installed is we've got to route the wiring for the amplifier so of course we want a direct connection to the batteries and what i'm doing to help you out here a little bit is you can see the blue wire right there and the, it was the power and the ground right next to it it runs through an access port right there we come into the engine compartment and you see where it comes through right there i've got a zip tie to the factory harness and then what i'm going to do is run it across this harness up above and all right now this is a rare shot that you won't get from many others there's where we are there's my leg i'm a small man I can fit inside the storage compartment and give you a rare shot of inside the gunnel. So from here, you can see where my power and ground run in. There is the factory harness that runs along the gunnel that I'll be zip tying to. It runs all the way up to the helm under the controls. This I will do off camera. This is not a comfortable position. And finally, here we are from the front. Under the helm, you can see my power wire, my ground wire, following the factory harness along the gunnel and then up under the helm with plenty to spare. Hoping to mount the amplifier right here. Looks like it might be a bit small, but we got plenty of other options up here to mount. But if you ever want to see the underside, the backside of your controls, Controls, mass controls to run to it, um, table mount, and then back side of the factory stereo, RCA outs. Oh, check a look at take a look at that. That's not even plugged in all the way. So I guess we'll see what that what is that? aux in so my aux wouldn't have worked <laughs> um because it's not plugged in all the way but we'll take it it's, it's plenty of wire it's bundled up in here it's just not plugged in all the way but we'll take care of that these are all rear line out subwoofer and then this would have to be the front line out so this is what i'll be tapping into to run uh to the amplifier so there it is. So I don't know that I'm going to show you all of the wiring. I don't think I'm gonna mess with all that. I'll probably just show you the finished product because there's not enough room in here to mess with. And if you don't know how I'm showing you how to run everything, where everything can go for the sub and just, or the amplifier and the speakers. So if you don't know how to wire amplifier at all, if you've never had any experience with that, you're probably not going to dig this far into the process anyway. You're probably going to have it done. So anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it until I get the project finished and then show you the uh, final product. I'm either going to mount the amplifier here or 
up against this. We have these reinforcements here that I could screw into. Um, not sure. I'll figure it out. Plenty of options. It's a lot of room up here under the home. I'm sitting inside of it. Again, like I said, I'm not a large man. Um, so but there's enough room in for me to get in here and work. So until then. Okay, so at this point, what we've got here is I've gone ahead and gone to, gone to the harness from the back of the stereo. And this is the main harness. Um, this is the pigtail that comes off. These I'm going to, I've clipped them because I'm going to use those stereo wires, but I want to keep little pigtails that way if I ever want to reattach them, I can. So I looked up um, the stereo, the stereo manual doesn't come with the boat, but you can look it up and find a PDF file online. So I have the speaker wires and the corresponding colors so I know what goes where. Um, I decided to mount the the amplifier right here on the wall. There's a nice thick block up here with wood behind it and a nice thick block here and it's just the right size to get the amplifier mounted in. My power wires are here. They will mount into the amplifier here and my speaker outputs will come here. So I'll have to make pigtails to run from here over there and then what I'll do is I'll run up here and, and attach the wires, loom them up um, to up above so that they're not hanging down. I can still use this for storage. So uh, what we've got here is we've got our RCA outs run over to the amplifier. So uh, the rest of this is just getting everything wired up um, and taped off. Like I said, I got to tape these off and then I'm going to heat shrink those so that they're isolated from the elements. And then I've got uh, heat shrink connections to make here. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. And there it is with all the pigtails each taped off individually. And then I used a big a rather large piece of shrink uh, heat shrink tubing that got in a kit from Harbor Freight. So that's all uh, clipped off. And what I forgot to mention earlier too is in the pigtail up above, you need to clip this blue wire. This is your power on lead. So this will need to be, you'll need to clip this because there's nothing coming into this pigtail to run it off of. So you actually need to clip it from this end and then this will hook up so you can run it into your remote power. I don't know if that's focusing, but that's where it goes. All right. So finally, this is what we've got. Got everything run. All the wires loomed up. You can see looking in, there's nothing hanging down. We've got the power wire and ground remote turn on all loomed up. Speaker wires loomed up. They run up behind the bulkhead here and then back to the stereo where everything's loomed. Um, we've got everything wired. The speakers, all is said and done. I need to, uh, I've got it hardwired to a battery. I need to install a battery switch still. Again, as you look in here, no wiring showing. Has some trimming to do with some of the tabs, but it runs up underneath there. We come over to the storage side. Again, nothing, nothing hanging down. Everything is loomed away, runs up behind, all the way under the controls, and then up behind the helm. So everything's hidden. It was fiddly. It takes, it'll take a couple hours and just, it's just, you know, it's just detail oriented work. So I'd play it for you, but it's YouTube. So, uh, everything's copyrighted, so it'll kick me off, but I can just tell you it sounds fantastic. So everything, uh, lines up well. Uh, yeah, so excited to get this on the water. Got a couple of little things to finish up, some uh, some zip ties to clip, but other than that, really good to go. So uh, all infinity, and like I said, everything fit in the stock locations, and that amplifier mounted there like that's where it was supposed to go. So anyway, looking excited, looking forward to uh, days out on the water. So hope this is helpful to somebody. Thanks a lot for watching.